Okay, so we're going to do another one of the experiments from their science kit. Today, we're going to do this one. Let me see if I can get a picture of it. Here we go. It's called Centrifugal Art. So, you might be able to read that if you want to read it. Okay, so here we have it here. My oldest child, my daughter, is going to have a go. Okay, so do you want to start, Mariela? Okay. So she's just putting some food colouring on there. And then she has to spin it. There you go, that's pretty good. Do you want to do it again? Put another drop on? Yeah. Okay, so we can we can do it again if if you want. Do you want to do it one more time? By the way, if you do this, we realize you see how it fell over. Then um, they just tell you on the instructions to spin it. Like it's just gonna spin nicely and work. But we found that you actually have to kind of hold the pencil so it doesn't fall over. Because otherwise, obviously, it's just going to roll straight off, and then that's really annoying. Um, so it takes a little bit of practice to do this just right. But obviously, the point of this one, it explains here. What is it? Okay. <laughs> okay, so it explains that about the centrifugal force that causes the revolving object to move away from its center. And that's why the food coloring was pushed away from the pencil. It is centrifugal force between Earth and the moon that prevents the moon from falling into the Earth. So the point of this is putting the die in the middle and then they can see how when it spins, the ink is pushed away from the center. Okay. Okay, so she's gonna do another one now. You see she's putting... So with this, we, you know, you have this science kit. So this round pieces of paper with a hole in the middle came with it, but you can do this yourself. You don't have to have the science kit. You know, you can cut paper into a round circle, stick a hole in the middle to help you put the pencil in. And then the food coloring, we brought that. That didn't come with the kit. Um, and then you see the instructions and the lesson. Okay, here you go. So she's just gonna have another go of a different color. Let's see if she can spin this one good. There we go, that's a good one. Okay. Oh, you, you wanna try another color as well? You see, so they can have some fun, like using different colors. Um, let's say it doesn't always spin amazingly. She did practice spinning this a bit before because I realized it wasn't gonna be too easy. But that looks pretty cool. So, I mean, this can, this can be like a, a cool art project and a science lesson all in one, which is really the point of this science kit. You know, you see it's called space science art gallery this one so yeah that, that's that's something nice because i mean if they want to keep it they can keep it afterwards um so yeah i mean obviously this comes with this plastic container so if you want to make sure you don't splash ink everywhere you could always um use just like a a plastic tupperware pot or you know an old cardboard box or something just to make sure it's not going to get splattered all over the floor or you might want to do it outside, something like that. But you see, that does look pretty cool using the different colors. And done, you want to use any more colors? Mm. You got any more? You can do some more green? Okay. Oh no, it's slipping off. <laughs> that's okay. So yes, yeah, so that's, that's all with this one. Um, hopefully we'll find another good experiment to do another day. We're actually going to do the space rocket again another day, but we're going to do it attached to some trees, but we need to actually go spice some more balloons and some string and stuff for that. Um, but yeah, if there's anything in particular you want to see in the way of science experiments, then, then just let us know and we can give it a go. But until then, we're probably just going to keep working through our science kit. I mean, I know there's a lot of other cool experiments out there but we're just probably going to stay focused on this for now 
And then when we're done with that, we'll probably then go looking for new cool ideas. You gonna, oh, you're gonna use the set color? Mm-hmm, I'm gonna use yellow. Okay. She's gonna use the yellow one now. Not so this will turn off. Cause it looks pink. Mm-hmm. That kind of looks orange, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. So that's it's a nice cool. swirl, that one. Mm -hmm. It's hard to do it more than two. Mm-hmm. Now, I imagine that this seems something hard for younger children to do. Um, or if you're not very coordinated. Um, I definitely don't think this is any good for my toddler. That's why he's playing outside with his older brother right now. No, no, I lie. He's actually outside with his daddy. He's making a video right now. So yeah, I mean, my daughter, she is 13. And this seems fine for her. And obviously, you know, it's definitely good for children younger than her. But if it's too young, if you're not very coordinated, it's just probably not going to work. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, but even though if your children aren't very good at it, they might even enjoy just watching you do it. But obviously, it's always a lot more fun if they can get involved themselves. But I think that's all for now. Me, 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 me,